So the next task for the midsection, now I've got those pieces printed, is to work on the slats. Now there's four different types of slats. Um, I'm doing the short piece first, um, just working out a good orientation for them. You see, minimum of supports again from the back, printed up right. Uh, saying four hours per piece. I'm using a 0.2 millimeter layer height. Oh, sorry, 0.15 layer height, um, uh, which is just a normal setting for the uh, Neptune 4 Max. And you can see there's uh, one piece coming off there right now. Uh, let me go and take you through to the game zoom and show you on the Dalek where these are going to be fitting. Uh, first small slat comes off the LED. Check up for size. So to show you the Dalek, and like I said, I split the midsection into two pieces. And what's going to be handy is the slats, and here's one that's completed. Um, this is a front slat, a short piece. So that'll go on there, and you can see these holes line up with those holes there. So I'm just going to have to thread a bolt through tighten them from the inside. And these will also help to keep it steady when I glue those two pieces on top of each other. In fact, with enough of these slats going around, you probably don't even need to glue them. Just the screws themselves will probably hold that in place perfectly. So there's gonna be a large square piece that'll go there. That'll be one slat. There'll be four of these smaller ones, two either side of it. There's a long, strangely shaped one that will go down here which has got to get around the uh, box and then there will be another 11 long ones that will go around the outside so pretty easy stuff um, just uh, again a lot of printing uh, but it should look pretty good when it's done all right so what I'm going to show you now is the next section so we're going to Take the one piece file and break it down so that I can print it without supports because if I was going to print this with supports, every piece in here would have them coming in, so it's wasting lots and lots of plastic and time. So, my plan is to take this and slice it into four pieces. So, what I'm going to end up with is I'm going to get just the top section there as one piece and that won't need any supports at all um, and then I'm going to take the next section minus that top piece so that I'll just have this bottom ring flat on the bed and the posts coming up and I'm going to slice it again so I get the third ring with those posts and then finally a fourth ring with those posts and they all sit on top of each other and there will be another uh, inner section which these will slide down onto which will have supported as well so just to give you a, another idea of what it's going to look like so there's the whole section that we were looking at sat on the bed uh, so I'm going to slice it so we've just got that red area, that'll be the first piece I'll print. Then we'll have the second ring, third, and then finally the top. So four pieces make up the whole of that next section, and then there'll be another inner piece that we'll do later on. I'll be printing that in black. Um, but yeah, so that's the idea behind the neck. Let's see how that goes. Okay, this is the first neck piece. So I've sliced the neck into four sections. Uh, so I'll start off with a disc that will go on top of the midsection. And we should end up with a couple of posts coming off this as well, which I'll glue the next section onto, then the next section, and then finally the top disc. So right now it's putting down a very smooth first layer, which is good. Right, so it looks like it's on its second layer there. Just going to let it get a bit more of it down. And then 
I'm going to step the speed up on it. Uh, let's see how it goes. So once again, doing it with four walls and 15% infill. Let's see how it turns out. Right, so good morning, everyone. Come in to take a look at the uh, next section. Uh, this is the lower piece. And right now we're 14 hours in to the print. Ignore the total time there of 116 hours. That would be if it was printing the whole thing as one. And of course I'm having to break it down because I'm not using any supports on this. And oh, climb up here. And yeah, beautiful, smooth print so far. Um, what will be interesting, of course, is once it gets to the top of this, it's got to put these rods around it. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they all print uh, well. They've got four walls to them, so that should make them nice and solid. So, all right, we'll let him carry on. All right, quick update on the first neck section. So 21 hours and 35 minutes in. The ring's complete. And as you can see, the two, four, six, eight posts are coming along quite nicely. So still all looks pretty smooth. Uh, few bits on here that will be uh, sanded off but yeah looking nice all right so 26 hours in nearly 27 hours and the pause commands kicked in so it's finished the uh, lower section for me so I'm just gonna stop this now Take that off the bed. And then prep the next section. So. Uh, it's Saturday morning, eight and a half hours into the second part of the neck. And uh, Going down as good as the first one. So, once again, I'll leave this to it. And let's see how much of this I can get done before I have to go back to work. Yay. So, checking on the second neck print. So, 13 hours and 52 minutes in. And looking nice. It's getting towards the end of the, the infill. And just like the first one nice smooth finish on the outside and that triangular infill is working really good so, I'll let it carry on so I've got to head off on a business trip in the morning um, so this is going to be my last update for a few weeks on the Dalek so this is where I've got to so far so as you can see finished the front part of the skirt and I've got all the Dalek balls put on that so I've still got to do the rear section uh, I'll work on that when I get back um, so each ball is held in place with two screws and PVC glue and that holds everything on nice and solid and we put up rested the midsection on there for effect and if you remember did the midsection in two pieces there was the upper and lower i've got to sand out that line but i've fitted and sprayed two of the slats just to show how these will go into the screw holes or bolt holes going around it and i don't think it's going to need much glue if anything because um by the time they bolt together and go into this piece here it all gets held steady so that should work out nicely and you can see I've got all four of the short slats done 
this is the larger front piece I'll spray up and sand that down and that'll go there and I've also been working on some of the longer slats uh, that'll go around would be seven of them and uh, another slightly less wide piece that will uh, come in either side of the gun box it's a slightly different size just because of that rough edge there it's good to get past them so and then once i've got all that done got the midsection to go in there i'll be able to work on the dalek eye stalk finish off the dome uh, make the lights as well um and then work on the arm and the gun and should be there so yeah still a fair bit of niggly stuff that's got to be done um but yeah it's definitely getting a lot closer now so right now the third ring is printing outside i'm going to take a look at that in a second and then there's the final uh, piece to go on top of that but those will basically be the large uh, the last of the largest pieces all right well let's go and take a look at that third ring outside and then i'll uh, i'll catch up with you when i get back oh sunday night so neck ring number three and let's have a look what we've got in the timing so Almost eight and three quarter hours into it. So chugging away, so this it'll hopefully be done by the morning. Uh, sliced this one wrong. I meant to put a brim around it to protect it while it was on the plate, but ended up putting a, just a line around it instead. So, but looks like everything's stuck down good so that worked out fine okay we'll see it in the morning